welcome to my channel this is Tam and I am playing for the last video so I'm part 1 so I'm part 1 there was no background music for a minute that was because I was for the hotel train or the audio music behind the background so I had to okay so this Michael Briggs guy got missing after he filed a report oh no michael briggs and find this guy you gonna search everywhere let's see what is available Let's go for that one. Let's go. Ah. He's running in this big ass peak. Locked and loaded? I just get locked and loaded. I don't recall there being a side mission. Psych evaluation, evaluation, psych evaluation, maybe. I don't know. I don't see any other place or even any other marker in the map or in the directions that is given. Okay, so you collect this, you get experience. I don't know where this locked and loaded mission is actually. I can't seem to find it. I already did this. What seems to be the problem? My damn locker won't open. Can you try? Hey, what is all this shit doing in my locker? Everyone, you need to be safe out there. We did not get saved. Yeah, you guys, very fun. Sometimes 
these things don't get saved. So I have to be extra careful because I have to end the video and sometimes I cannot play forever, right? That will make the video. <laughs> to the ground. Believe me, just burn it all. But it's also a search about why you see. Can I ask random people questions or only those who have question marks space looks like well garden is this the space is blocked hey this area is off limits you need permission to get in or a warrant you knew it and it is very dark and close. Something is coming. I can feel it. How? Home? Home? What the fuck is that? Did you guys see that? search you have to explore that get some answers I don't know if I'm going the right way or not I sure will search every corner so best of how I search this guy looks like your life savings, tough shit stinker. Antisocial behavior towards a fellow citizen can be classified as a crime. The lesson for the future, to save yourself the trouble, clean up on the double. You can't do it. I was only messing. I could have just picked it all up. Hey, you tell him, robot man. What a fucking joke. I think that was a joke, bitch. Oh, this guy is drunk as fuck. 
I would think you would be ready to consider me. favorite TV star. <laughs> Thanks to you, Kurtz finally had a reason to watch something other than the fast food channel. Merely doing my duty. That kind of hostile situation is not the only thing I can resolve. Can you tell me what happened here? Nasty murder. The victim is a white female, mid-twenties, identified as Casey Carmel. Had a history of petty crime and prostitution, but uh, believe it or not, that's her real name. Any leads? The case is closed. OCP won't spend a single dime on the murder of a prostitute. Cost optimization. Fancy name for we don't give a shit about poor people. So if you were to look around the crime scene, you would potentially be exposing OCP to extra costs. If you want to do that, be our guest. Is that homeless man considered a suspect? Nah, we know the guy. You can rule him out. The guy's a loon, a mental patient. He thinks that aliens dumped the body here. Talk to him if you want. Uh, <laughs> just prepare to hear a tall tale about green people. Do you have any thoughts about that murder? I bet the girl was killed somewhere else, uh, and the body was only dumped here. When we got the tire tracks, drag marks. Uh, if we find a car that matches, we'll find our perp. Yeah, I guess the perp had his hands covered in some green-blue guacamole-ish goo. The body's covered in it. Why does it always come back to food with you? Anyway, we need to do a proper analysis. The best way to cut the costs of policing is to cut the criminals down. Tell me about it. I didn't join the force to pick up dead bodies off the street. Yeah, but what can we do? I will look around. We must bring the murderer to justice. Case 
see. Custom extended real notes. Have you seen a fleet of enemies around? Nah. But that narrows it down significantly. Good catch, Robert. Probably belong to our victim. Let's try to find other clues. Somebody dumped her a few feet from here. The blood traces on the ground indicate she was dragged. That's this green blue shit under arm. No idea what it might be, but there is more of it around. Nasty wound. Looks like she was hit with a blunt object, possibly a hammer. Her heels had to touch the ground when the body was dragged. Oh, I can help you find the guy who dumped the body here. I saw him, but you must accept the truth. Tell me what you know. Uh, it's as simple as it gets. Aliens did it. Aliens? I've been investigating them for years. They send rats to spy on me. They don't want me to show you this list. It's a list of aliens living in Detroit. All 37,617 of them. The murderer included. Most likely a van with a custom extended wheelbase. Does your list contain any information on such a vehicle? Jackpot! I've got a guy with a van that matches your description. I don't know his ID, but I know where you can find him. A film set near the courthouse. They're shooting a TV commercial that's run by aliens, so it all makes sense. Casey must have discovered something there, and they got her. That must have been what's happened. Why do you think that aliens run the set? Who do you think runs the advertising business? They're stuffing commercials with subliminal messages. They, they, they use additional film frames with commands to make us obey. Don't you know what happens to those who watch TV? Why do you think that aliens are involved? I saw the guy who dumped the body here. I saw his skin. It was green and glowing like those toy dinosaurs that children play with and years later develop serious diseases from. What is the purpose of your list? 
It's my tool to spread the truth. I update it every month and add it to my newsletter. You should read it. It's free. You'll find out some stuff that you wouldn't see on TV. Like what? Take the moon landing, for example. Didn't happen. Why? Because the moon doesn't exist. First time hearing about it? That's why you need my newsletter. This guy is really bad. I will verify your statement. Nevertheless, I recommend you consult a psychiatrist at the earliest possible time. Now, the set. Okay, I came to investigate about Sukh and I started investigating about this murder. Let's check out the surroundings. There must be more clues. I heard your daughter was promoted to executive, huh? Why not ask her for help? I'd rather ask the devil. My daughter is cold and heartless. Why do you think they promoted her in the first place? Evening, officer. A few doctors washing jelly beans, some marbles, and pigs. Dad? Dad? Tired of your kids asking annoying questions? Nice. You just want to relax after a long day of progress. She took his sperm, his dignity, his public drinking disorder, and conduct or traffic violations. Global human and human instances of love. Hey, hey man, fam, my guarantee. What? Someone knocked out his teeth, including the gold one. He's asking if anyone <laughs> found it. I'm telling you, officer, dumpsters are like a bag of candies. You never know what you're gonna get. And this goal, there goes my dumpster there. I think I saw an alley. For some to learn how not to lose the track of time is to learn how not to lose their money. I just issued a ticket here. Perfect. This is Reed. Mayor Kuzak just stormed into my office. Apparently, his niece's car has been stolen. Find it. This goes to the top of your priority list. You can start by asking about it at some of the local garages. For the record, it's a blue SUX 6000 registered to Melissa Kuzak. The film set in a post -pad. Maybe it crimes in it.
because same pain from Arthur and body pain. customers. Can't hear ya. Music's too loud. Good evening. Are those two men bothering me? First they harass my customers. Then they threaten to burn down my shop. You need to do something about it, officer. What do you want, cop? Can't we have a little bit of fun? We did nothing wrong. The music is too loud. My sound sensor measures 126 decibels. You are damaging your ears as we speak. Oh man, don't talk to me like that. I don't understand numbers. Your volume control seems to be broken. Leave it! That's brand won't. new! I've only stole- <laughs> Thanks, officer. घटा दूंगा भाई तो म्यूजिक ही बताऊंगा इससे अच्छा जब जब I always wanted to be a cop. I even applied to the academy, but it turns out that extensive criminal history and drug addiction prevent you getting in. अच्छा चलो फिल्म सेट चलते हैं What is happening here? Uh they're shooting a TV commercial for Sunblock 5000. Night does not seem an appropriate time for such practice. Yeah. They ran into some problems. And it's running later than expected. I swear, we're staying here until we finish, or you're doing it without me. Jerry, don't you think you're being unreasonable? You better find us another understudy so we can get this over with. Let him in. We don't want to hinder the work of law enforcement. I have reason to believe that someone from your crew is involved in a crime. We found a green-blue substance like your sunblock at the crime scene. The suspect was driving a van with a custom-extended wheelbase. 
We use a lot of different vans, but I would know if they're the type you're looking for. In that case, I would like to look around. Actually, you could be of some use to me, too. I have a problem here, and its name is Jerry. Jerry Jenkins. I need a reason to cancel his contract, and I think you could find one for me. That does not sound like a task of a police officer. Ah, but it could be, though. I'm sure he's guilty of something. You just have to find out what it is. I can give you access to anything without a warrant. I only carry out the request of justice. I believe that. Dig deep. I bet Mr. Big Shot doesn't have a clear conscience. Start with the computer. There's a list of vehicles allowed to park on set there, but look for something on Jenkins, too. Okay, that's my glove. I am looking for... Look! I'm busy! <laughs> but you know what? I, I like your paint job. It would look nice on my new car. Can you leave me your card or something? This guy's out of it. Two out of it, I would say. No problem. This is the same thing that was found on the victim's body. Killer must be here somewhere. I just need to check. The evidence I have gathered shows that you are connected to the investigation that I am conducting. So what? The perpetrator was someone with skin that seemed to be covered with sunblock. I saw the storyboard. You fit the description. Nice try, but I won't even touch that toxic goo. I've got it in a contract. I use body doubles for all the shots where I'm supposedly covered with it. Wait, that bitch sent you after me, didn't she? She's looking for a way to screw me over and hide her incompetence. You want to investigate something, then ask her about the guy she hired as the understudy. His face 
looks like a walking mugshot. On top of that, I bet he's the one who stole my ring! See what she has to say about him, pal. This guy's human beings always hide something from me. I spoke with Jenkins. He mentioned that you hired a criminal. This individual may be the perpetrator I am looking for. You mean the understudy? Did Jenkins tell you that I hired him? He was the one who recommended him for the job. Don't believe me? Check the camera footage to see what good friends they are. Where is the understudy now? I have no idea. And that's the whole point. We can't keep shooting because he's disappeared. I hope the guys in the hospital are worse, because if he's not, I'll kill him myself. <laughs> it's a joke, of course. You understand jokes, don't you? Show me the footage. Check the camera footage. Who are you, pal? Your agent sent me. Special services. Pussies, man. I've got a place. Of course, Mr. Jenkins, I'll take- Take it and get lost! The smell of hard-boiled eggs mixing with this green shit makes me want to puke. Looking at your face doesn't help either. You! You mentioned something about special services. Only the best in Detroit. I find that hard to believe. I've got just the girl for you. Her name's Casey. She's... No names. I can get to the stolen weapon right now. Your understudy offered you the services of a prostitute. She was likely the prostitute who was killed. People offer me things all the time, but that doesn't mean I accept every one of them. Withholding information about illegal activity is also a crime. Ha! <laughs> if that's the case, I wouldn't be the only criminal in this goddamn business. You know what? Now that I think about it, why shouldn't I help the law enforcement of this here beautiful city? Where can I find the understudy? He works at a gas station nearby. But I don't think that's his main source of income. I am not done with you yet. Do not leave the city. Okay, I think we are leaving this concert. But I did not find anything interesting here. Sunblock is the least of your worries. Look, I know why you're here, but I'm innocent! I swear! You are being detained in connection with the murder of Casey Carmel. If you require medical attention, it will be given to you. I didn't do it! Jenkins killed her! Jerry Jenkins, the guy from TV! You have to believe me! 
You will make your statement at the station. And you'll let Jenkins walk free. He's the one who killed Casey. They met here yesterday. Casey's body was covered in sunblock. The evidence points to you. I arranged the meeting, I admit, but I was gone when this happened. When I came back, she was already dead, and I decided to get rid of the body. Jenkins is the only one who could have done it. Why would Jenkins be meeting a prostitute here when there is a motel across the street? His agent got a hold of me and told me that the guy values his privacy. The money was good, and I was able to provide him with a discreet option. And Jenkins was happy with the arrangement. He was bitching at first, but when he saw Casey, he stopped being so picky. Why would Jenkins kill that woman? I don't know. I wasn't there. Are you stalling? She may have mentioned something about wanting to blackmail Jenkins, but I knocked the idea out of her head. At least I think I did. Why did you not go to the police? What would I say? That a famous celebrity killed a street prostitute in the back of my gas station. That's a bit much even for this city. Dumping that woman's body in a dumpster seemed like a better idea to you? It's not my fault that people would rather believe a guy from TV over me. That's actually the thing that is happening all around the world. I think I have done with the I will verify your version of events, but you will still suffer the consequences of the actions you have taken. Hurry up, please! It burns! Okay. This car, this van matches the description of the car that's used. With that being the murder weapon, I guess. Is that blood or... Ah, maybe negative. And the sunglasses matches the perpetrator. That was a weird glitch. Camera lens. Wow. Okay, that's video footage of the actual murder. Now I can go arrest that asshole. I'm only a doctor, I cannot help with if he issues the price. <laughs> This guy. So, did you find anything? According to the evidence, Jenkins is guilty of the murder of Casey Carmel. I told you! However, you are guilty of concealing a crime and desecration of a corpse. I will call medical assistance. You will be taken in when your condition permits.
there is that guy right no he's not going anywhere but still Search for two stolen vehicle. One crime at a time. I cannot do anything in one video. Takes time. You do not even get time to search this place. I have to take a shit and then go for. I can't let you in, Robo. They're in the middle of a shot. This cannot wait. They say that 20 seconds in the California sunshine is too much these days. Ever since we lost the ozone layer. I have a solution for you if you are looking for some protection against that California sunshine. The hell? A stay in Detroit prison. Jerry Jenkins, you are under arrest for the murder of Casey Carmel. I've seen you on TV! You're glitching again! Ah, it hurts! For fuck's sake, it hurts! <laughs> to find that car uh, secondary object stolen vehicle miscellaneous objects objectives serve and protect police work completed objectives failed objectives police work I failed in police work <laughs> fuck oh, man Okay, stolen vehicle, blue 6000 SUX, Melissa Kuzak, Mayor Kuzak's niece, and the uh, mayor expects the case to be resolved quickly, find tools about the car, starting at the local repair shop, Benz Auto Repair, okay, Benz Auto Repair, okay, this is the map, Search for stools for them. Like, how can I mark this? Uh, can I mark this uh, with any button? Middle mouse button? No, it's not working. Okay, then go straight like this. Left, then right, and we'll go for that. Straight, I can go for outside. Okay, so then dissolve. So let's move on, right? This is the maximum speed. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so, skills, where can I? I uh, have yeah, one experience point, right? Let's go for. What is this skill? Enhanced dash. Okay, engineering is cool. Slow motion. Engineering slow motion and this is slow motion duration. Nice. But I will try to take this one. Lowers our composition from the main characters. Uh, 
I love this. I think I'm going right. Uh, this is the maximum speed, baby. I got to go faster than this. Maybe I will miss something along the way, but by the station of option of the train. I don't know what I will talk. Okay, parking ticket here. One parking ticket is all it takes to approve mindfulness. I think I'm going to talk here. Then let oh, who's there? Oh, it's only you. What if I take this back? Maybe there's something. I still have some time left before the one hour mark comes along. I can go by this way also. This way, this way. What is this guy doing? Eyes are stink. Citizen, I am ordering you to discontinue this deliberate act of vandalism. Screw you, man! He left it like that. Okay, we'll uh, do this suits whereabouts in the next video, I guess, because it will take time. So what, what, what you gonna do? You you can't put me behind bars. I, I'm still a kid and only done it once. J just let me off with a warning, will ya? Let's give the kid a warning, right? It is my duty to warn you not to commit that or any violation again. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'll do my best not to get caught again. Not to get caught again, okay. I inspired the graffiti artist. This is not good. Okay, I'm just going round and round. Let's go out and take a ride. Do this mission, man. Stop shaking in your boots. Look, Robocop is here. We're safe. The repair shop, a whole repair shop. This may be it. I think I heard the oh. I might be a little late filing my tax return, but sending a one-man army seems like an overreaction. I am here to investigate the theft of a blue SUX6000 that belongs to Melissa Kuzak. Fancy car and fancy name. But I hardly ever get the pleasure of dealing with either. Do you have any information about the whereabouts of this vehicle? To be honest, I did some work on one of those cars recently. But I can assure you that it was not the one you're looking for. Do I have your permission to search the shop? I know what the world's like, but can a man go about his business without being harassed all the damn time? Thank 
I do not mean to obstruct anyone's work, but fulfilling my duties takes priority. Then why aren't you out there on the street, where a real crime is happening, instead of badgering hard-working citizens? Is car theft not a real crime to you? You know what? If you really think you'll find evidence of that SUX ever being here, then be my guest. Okay. Irrelevant. Irrelevant. Deduction level two is what? What the fuck? Engineering level two is what? What the? You mean I can do this mission now? This is. Then I'm off tomorrow, but this hundred I think sports at it again. You want to help the boy? I can't even run musical shit and Scott doesn't care. Okay, Scott, I think Scott is the guy. So I'm hiding. So I look toward his shoulder and the tongue, then he's stashing this stone radios there. You better check the travel. Confront them. Okay. See, I told you, you'll find Jack all, because there ain't nothing to be found. This place is legit. I need access to one of your lockers. I can't allow that. It's my workers' private possessions. You said your shop has nothing to hide. The locker you have in mind belongs to a boy named Scott. He works for me on and off. I have to admit, I had a tiny feeling he might have something to do with your case. I will open his locker for you, but I won't be held accountable for what's inside. That's his locker. Go on, have a look. And what do you reckon? Is he your man? For the time being. Where is the suspect? You see, he hasn't turned up for work for some time. This morning when two thugs swang by looking for him, I knew he must be in trouble. I've overheard him many times talking about a place where he does car jobs on the side. Give me the precise location. I can't tell you exactly where it is. All I know is that it's one of the garages near the local storage compartments. Is he a temporary worker? You could say that. We fall out a lot because he brings a lot of hot stuff to the shop, and I'm not okay with it. And you let him come back. It's hard to make an honest living these days. That's why I understand his struggle, and I let him come back. Working here keeps him out of trouble. And to be frank, it's not easy to find such a good mechanic either. Tell me why you think he is responsible. He's young bright and would like to rule the world. I get it, but nearly every month he gets himself in trouble. It is not enough to make assumptions. I'm not a cop, but I've seen many things in my life, and where there's smoke, there's usually fire. Why did you cover for him? I can't watch a decent kid like him get swallowed by this city. Don't look at me like that. Instead of giving him up, I was encouraging him to come clean, but a man can only try. That is all for now. Hey! Make sure no harm comes his way. He might have done some foolish things in the past, but he's a good kid, and he deserves another chance. A court of law will be the judge of that.
find spots whereabouts. It's almost toward the place where we have to search for a search for suit. This was close. I thought I had to. Boss was not impressed when he did the pretty similarity keep him working as long as he was in the shop shop before night fall. Okay. Find the significance. Construction right here. Oh God, I messed up good. You must be Scott. What did you do with the blue SUX 6000 that you stole? Hey, well, why would I have anything to do with that? I have found evidence in Ben's shop. You can't possibly help me. I don't want to cause any more trouble, especially for Ben. Our actions affect people around us. Do you mean Ben? Shit! Is he alright? Is Ben okay? Please tell me. I would never forgive myself if anything bad happened to him. During our conversation, my health monitor did not detect any trauma. As yet. Okay. Okay. I admit. See? <laughs> it was me who jacked the SUX. But he didn't leave me any choice. Who is he? I can't tell you. If he knew I gave him away, he'd take revenge on Ben. Oh god! It must be those thugs! We're dead! No one's gonna save us! If they are criminals, then they are the ones who need saving. Hello? Anybody home? Where are you, Scotty boy? Oh, shit. It's the it's man! It's oh, the for that! No! I didn't think that through. Maybe you can put an end to this after all. I am missing vital information in order to resolve this case. I'll tell you what you want. Just please, help me fix this screw-up. Where is the car now? Oh man, I'm sure it's still in their chop shop. It's a warehouse on the northeast side. The entrance is concealed, but I'm sure you'll find it. I'm no fighter, but if there is any other way, I would like to help. Maybe you need some more intel. Who did you mean by him? It's Rex, from the local gang. I only did petty jobs for him mostly, but this time he made me steal that car. He said he wanted the SUX 6000 we were repairing at Ben's. When I said it was too hot, he slashed me with his knife. Any criminal matters should be reported to the police. I know. I just thought I could figure this out by myself. <coughs> ben was right from the start. I shouldn't have gone down this road. Why were you hiding? You saw those thugs. They were looking for me. They realized I tricked them. They wanted the SUX 6000 from Ben's shop, but I didn't want to get him into trouble, so I stole a different one. I doubt anyone would have given a shit, but... Word on the street is that it belongs to the mayor's niece. That is all for now. Proceeding to the vehicle's estimated location. You are calling for backup, aren't you? 
Negative. Effect calculation minimal. Let's just finish this mission. I don't see anything.
Six required. I'm hardly getting any vitality even to required. That's the car. We got the car, baby. Search this place thoroughly. Sajima. Why are you trying to paint over the car? Something like that. I mean, it would have been like unrecognizable from every end. Okay. So there is nothing more here. I can't believe you've actually done it! Do you think I could take that car back to the owner and say I'm sorry? Maybe she won't press charges. This car is now in police custody. Oh please, I could really use a helping hand right now. Otherwise, I'm back in juvie. Proceeding to secure the perimeter. Keys are in the ignition. Thank you so much! I promise I won't mess this up! Okay. So, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back with more exciting videos. So, until then, stay tuned and have a good day. Take care, guys. See you soon. We start from here, we ask about suits, whereabouts, the main objective. You can see by pressing J. Bye guys.